Reconstructing the Great Road Bridge. Tonight, the DOT shut down both sides of a section of Route 146 to pave the way for the partial bridge demolition. The Pinpoint News Tracker shows you where the closures will take place at the Forest Hill exit in North Smithfield. New tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Daniel North has details on the detours and how this may affect your commute. You could call the Great Road Bridge in North Smithfield the Great Old Bridge. The bridge was built back in 1959 and it's had some problems in its old age. But as part of the ongoing program where we inspect our bridges every two years, there were issues on that bridge that needed to be addressed and we end up putting those in our program and as a result of those deficiencies we try to get them replaced as soon as possible. So for the next five nights, crews will be working on the North Smithfield span after 9 p.m. throughout the overnight hours till 5 a.m. One of the things we have to do in order to continue with the demolition and the work that has to be done to the Great Road Bridge, we need to remove a second half or the second segment of the Great Road Bridges, which actually go over 146. And in order to do that safely, the DOT will have to shut down both sides of 146. Here is the plan. A short detour will be posted around the closed portion of the highway. Motorists traveling 146 North can exit at School Street and then get back on the highway after the Great Road Bridge. Those going southbound can exit at Great Road and then get back on 146 after the Great Road Bridge. Department of Transportation officials tell Eyewitness News they are making progress trying to repair many of the state's ailing bridges. In fact, the North Smithfield project also includes repairs on the Great Road's sister bridge. There are two bridges that are being done as part of this project. It's a $9 million rehabilitation project for those bridges, and we're scheduled to complete that work by the end of next year. And while the number of structurally deficient bridges has actually dropped over the last two years, 31% of the state's bridges are considered to be functionally obsolete. I'm Danielle North, Eyewitness News.